Ethel Merman, a prominent figure in Broadway and Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Known for her powerhouse voice and commanding presence, Merman's career spanned decades, defining an era of musical theater with her distinct style. Her contributions to iconic productions like Annie Get Your Gun and Anything Goes solidified her status as a legendary performer. Digging deeper, lesser-known anecdotes unveil a fascinating complexity behind her public persona. However, for many, their introduction to Merman's talent might have been through her films or recordings, experiencing firsthand the force of her vocal prowess and magnetic stage presence. What stands out about Merman isn't just her achievements on stage and screen, but the lasting impact she had on those who had the privilege of witnessing her performances. Cherished memories and personal experiences tied to this classic Hollywood actor undoubtedly abound, echoing the magic she brought to audiences worldwide. We'd love to hear your stories and memories of this iconic personality in the comments below. Ethel Merman's iconic presence transcended stage and screen, leaving indelible marks on both. Her portrayal of original roles in shows transitioned seamlessly into film and television adaptations. Notably, she preemptively set the tone in Anything Goes by singing the title song before the credits began, and in Call Me Madam, her voice echoed the title as it appeared on screen. In Annie Get Your Gun, her shooting prowess adorned the opening credits. Merman's refusal of the role of Dolly Gallagher Levy in Hello, Dolly is a noteworthy point, but she eventually embraced it in 1970, concluding her Broadway career with a flourish. Recognitions follow Woodher, earning stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for motion pictures and recording, solidifying her impact in entertainment history. In 1979, at the seasoned age of 71, Ethel Merman stunned the music world with an unexpected release, the Ethel Merman Disco Album. It was a move that raised many eyebrows, met with doubt and uncertainty. Yet, against all odds, this bold departure from her usual repertoire struck gold, finding its place as a sensation at Studio 54 and quickly embraced by the vibrant gay community who celebrated its infectious beats and vibrant reinterpretation of Broadway classics. This unforeseen disco twist marked a dazzling resurgence in her career, shining a bright spotlight on a talent many thought they knew inside out. Throughout her life, Ethel Merman had been synonymous with stage triumphs and standing ovations, her name etched into the annals of theatrical greatness. But this unexpected foray into disco added a new, surprising chapter to her illustrious story. It was a testament to her adaptability, her willingness to push boundaries, and an embodiment of her indomitable spirit. Her legacy, multifaceted and profound, persists as a testament to her immeasurable impact on the world of entertainment. Her love for Christmas, a charming quirk that saw her maintaining a festively adorned tree all year round, revealed a softer, more whimsical side to the iconic performer. However, her final years were marked by a courageous battle against a formidable terminal illness. Even in the face of adversity, her spirit remained unyielding, a testament to her resilience and fortitude. Though Ethel Merman has left us, her disco album endures as a symbol of her ever-surprising career, a cherished memento that encapsulates the essence of a woman who dared to defy expectations and embrace the unexpected. It stands as a timeless tribute to her unparalleled artistry and creativity. This account, filled with vibrant moments and unexpected turns, showcases the extraordinary life of a legendary entertainer whose impact transcends generations, leaving an indelible mark on the world of music and performance. Ethel Merman's legacy lives on, an enduring testament to the power of her talent and the resilience of her spirit forever cherished. Merman's brief but tumultuous marriage to actor Ernest Borgnine in 1964 captured headlines. Lasting a mere 32 days, the union ended in a contentious divorce, each accusing the other of extreme cruelty. Their contrasting fame and Borgnine's rising popularity exacerbated their conflicts, leading to a swift dissolution. Merman's witty response, dedicating a blank page in her autobiography to this chapter of her life, spoke volumes. Her eventful personal life often rivaled her stage triumphs, showcasing the complexities behind the legendary performer. This brief yet turbulent marriage remains a captivating footnote in the legacy of a celebrated entertainer, shedding light on a lesser-known facet of her life. Her daughter, Ethel Levitt's marriage to William Geary in 1960 marked the beginning of a new familial chapter. 
This union brought joyous occasions, notably the birth of Merman's first grandchild, Barbara Jean, on February 20, 1961, followed by the arrival of a son, Michael Geary. Amidst her illustrious career, Merman embraced the role of a grandmother, finding moments of cherished family bliss. The intertwining of personal milestones alongside her entertainment legacy adds depth to the multifaceted persona behind the spotlight. Ethel Merman's life encompassed not just the dazzling stages, but also the quieter, intimate joys that came with family bonds. The birth of her grandchildren ushered in a new phase, offering glimpses into the private life of a woman often celebrated for her public persona. These familial connections added a different hue to the vibrant tapestry of her life. Actress Ethel Merman, known for her powerhouse performances, had a surprising start before her fame in show business. Trained as a secretary, she excelled in shorthand, typing, and stenography, relying on clerical jobs until her breakthrough in entertainment. This lesser-known aspect of her life showcases her determination and versatile skill set beyond the stage and screen, marking the foundation of her journey into the spotlight. From secretarial work to iconic performances, Ethel Merman's transition reflects her resilience and adaptability, illustrating a remarkable evolution from her early days to becoming a legendary figure in entertainment. Ethel Merman, famed for her bellicose stage voice, possessed a vocal prowess that could reverberate through the grandest of theaters, reaching the ears of even those nestled in the distant balconies. Her resonant voice, akin to a thunderous wave crashing upon the shores of theatrical realms, earned her the endearing yet impactful nickname Old Yeller, a testament to the resounding power of her performances. Beyond the affectionate sobriquet, it encapsulated the sheer might and resonance of her singing, etching her name as a luminary in the annals of entertainment. Her stage presence was formidable, a force that could command attention effortlessly, while her voice, an instrument of unparalleled strength, left an enduring imprint on audiences spanning across generations. Ethel Merman's legacy persists as a testament to the enduring power of talent, her name forever intertwined with the echoes of her robust and unforgettable performances. Devising her stage name by a strategic alteration of her birth name, this celebrated performer transformed into the powerhouse known today. Shedding the first three letters and the last letter of her birth name, Zimmerman, she emerged as a luminary recognized across stages and screens alike. Her knack for reinvention extended beyond nomenclature. In one of her final memorable appearances, she delivered a hilarious cameo in the 1980 film Airplane. Amidst the chaos of a military mental ward, she humorously portrayed a patient who thinks he's her, belting out a rendition of Everything's Coming Up Roses from her Broadway hit Gypsy. This comedic twist showcased her enduring talent and lighthearted approach to her craft, leaving an indelible mark on her vast legacy. Her ability to infuse humor into her performances and playfully embrace her own iconic status added yet another facet to her celebrated career, resonating with audiences and securing her place as an entertainment legend.